All right, y'all, welcome back. Uh, here we are with the Marcy Deluxe Cage. We got all the parts out. Everything's ready to go. I got it on a blanket, so that way I don't scratch any of the pieces. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the uh, like button, to share, to comment. Uh, any feedback is always appreciated. Let's go get, go ahead and get this thing assembled and I'll just take you step by step through it or at least the different sections that I'm doing and I'll try to point out all the difficult stuff or things that maybe someone would generally overlook and so I'll have that in the video. This is the first step to get these uh, six pieces onto the two uh, longer bars here. Let's do it. Okay, that portion right there is complete. Uh, just like the instruction says, so you just kind of loosely flat tighten it so you see it's got a little shift to it, moves around a little bit. And then remember with this, because it's going under a pipe or a rounded bar, you gotta use domed washers, right? It's got a little bend there so that way it goes around the bar there. Make sure you use those because it specifies it in the instructions. Okay, so now we've got the main stand-up bar where the pulleys or the cable pulleys will be going through here. Um, so this is pretty much ready to go. Put it on my uh, key box there, my wrench shit box, to kind of keep it from hitting the concrete. Uh, these guys have an Allen wrench here if you want to you know, tighten it down so that way it doesn't slide off through metal bars. And it just told me to put the clamps on too. The spotted piece with the carriage bolts there and the lock nuts and the dome washers and we're going to put those two bolts through the bottom of the first uh, um, section that we assembled so we'll go ahead and do that. Also I'm going to tighten this down so it's moving too much. attached securely to the bottom support arms there. So we're gonna go ahead and lift it up, put it aside and work on the next uh, section of the rack. All right, so the next two pieces we're gonna build is the left and uh, right side of the support arms. And this gives us the instructions to break down there, so. Now we got all the hardware pieces so we're gonna go ahead and get this one uh, side assembled. Okay so we got one arm down.
Sometimes I get so mad, there's no control in me. My thoughts get so bad, I'm like, I might grab a bat. I don't know my wrath, my blood boils over like. Oh God, here goes. I lost all feeling from my head to my toes. You said some shit that I can't let go. So just stay tuned for the rest of the show. So have you ever felt betrayed? Switch is how you see things. Realize something needs change. Cause I know you got me fed up. Let me show you what's up. Cause enough is enough. I'll take a face full of pavement just to make a statement. I know there's no turning back. Oh God, adrenaline. and the, the bars for the pulleys and the cables and all that. So this should be our end result here with step six. And yeah, we're getting close to being done. All right, so I got all the parts to install the two pull-up arms. Make sure you got the plates that go on the back side of that arched bar. So get these, get all your bolts and nuts, and we're gonna go ahead and these guys gotta be uh, basically bending downward. So this is the right one, the left one. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and hand, uh, let's go ahead and tighten those down. Make sure those arms are up there, nice and secure. That's all I got in me, three. Nice and secure. Let's add the other attachments here. So step six is all complete there. Let's go on to step seven. This is where we're gonna start assembling the pulleys and the, the pull down bars and the curl bars with the cables. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we got the uh, arm bar up, connected to the pulley cable. Let's see if we can get you guys a better angle here. Okay, we got the upper arm pulley system uh, pretty much ready to go to be connected to the lower one. We have finished step seven. Let's move on to step eight. All right, so now we're gonna do the lower part where we attach the uh, pulley mechanisms together with the pulley cable and the curling bar. So we'll go ahead and work on the lower part. Attached there at the bottom. All right, and then we're going to bring this cable up to the two arms up there and attach this uh, cable pulley wheel. Okay, it looks like it operates very smoothly. You don't want to do it too tight. So you definitely want it to be snug, but it's got a nice smooth flow here. All right, on to the next pulley. The curl bar connected. Chain and we're good to go. 
good. As you see here, it works just fine. That's that. That's the upper pull down bar. See how this guy works. And it works just as smooth. Uh, being that there's no weight on it, um, obviously this bar is pretty light, but uh, yeah, it works very smooth. Okay, we're gonna push it back in its place and we'll be good to go. It is done. The Marcy Deluxe Cage is completed. Everything is properly functioning. So once the weights arrive, whenever you put those plates on, it'll be ready for them. This is good for the uh, squat bar, I guess. To hold the squat bar. And then these guys right here hold the plates right on the side. Uh, right here too, I guess, so uh, you could do put the squat bar up there. Um, basically just set it up the way he wants. Pull up bars there and then the lat pull down. Very nice, very sturdy and rugged uh, uh, workout rack. Marcy's only for those when you finally get serious, folks. So if you want to get serious about getting fit and working out, get a Marcy. I'll provide links in the description below if I can uh, provide those.